Here's the story about the time I was kidnapped and captured by a tribe in Papua New Guinea. We were ambushed by two boats while on our way to visit this remote village in the Sepik region. We were beaten, hogtied, and thrown onto their canoes, and then carried into some hut deep in the jungle. Here's how it happened. So right now we are in the middle of Papua New Guinea, about as far away from the world as you could possibly be. And we're in the Sepik River, getting ready to go down some of these smaller channels off the main river. And there's supposedly some lesser contacted tribes there, people that have never really seen people from the outside world. Even some of the tribes here don't even see these other tribes because they're so remote. We gotta be at least six hours into the jungle right now. There's no tourists probably for miles and miles and miles, probably even hours and hours. Oh look, there's a little person in the tree right there. What are they doing in the tree? Look at those people in the tree. There's no even... There's people in the tree right there. There's people that's chilling in the tree. Not of people. Or normal people. It's crazy that people live out here like this in these little channels. Hey, dude, this is definitely not the way. Look at this small ass little way. This is not go this way, dude. Papua, there's so many tribes. This is the most densely compact language place in the world, meaning there's like 800 languages spoken here. And even though the country is relatively small, the tribes, there's so many different little tribes and they're, they're isolated here in the jungle. There's some along the river and up in the mountains. And oh shit, look, look, there's people. Look, there's people on a boat. There's a boat. I think we're getting close to the village because we haven't seen people in hours. And this is a little boat right here. Oh look, there's something in the water right there. Whiskey time. Oh yeah. Whiskey time. Uh, guys, now I will go to come in a minute and you can stay at my place. Okay. We can stay and with you? Stay with me then two days. Then I can find some coconut, sago, and then you go back to your village. Okay. Yeah, that'd be amazing. That sound cool? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So we are come close to the village now, so the tribes here are still doing head hunting? Yes, they do still. Here. Whiskey time. Still they do so. Be careful, but I will talk to my people. Okay. If anything happen. Whiskey time, pass that shit, bro. If anything happens. Yeah, it made me scared now. I thought it was cool that we just show up. Headhunters. Headhunters mean they're killing people? I want to give you head, bro. I'm bro. More, more whiskey. Okay, yeah. Two, 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 two. Only two nips. Whew. Oh yeah. Is that a is that a house right there? You see that or no? That's just the forest. A little, uh, a little hut. Oh shit! Oh fuck. What the fuck? Oh, holy shit, dude! What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? Fuck, dude. Hey, hey. Go, 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 man! Put the. Go, oh shit, there's another one! Oh, oh fuck! Go there! Look at this shit! Turn on the engine, bro! Oh, please, please, please! Please! Oh, oh fuck, dude! Oh, fuck. Ah, ah. Oh shit, dude, what the fuck? Oh, please, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh,
Peaks on Earth, baby. In the code of Earth, survive another day. And our camera guy, Elijah. We're free. That was cool. I've never been tied up like that before. You can't do nothing when you're tied up. I like it. So you good? Yes. You saved us. Thank you. Without you, they would have took our heads. Yes. Took you off already, so I save you. It's according to the Edmund custom. When they bring enemies, if you want to negotiate with your uh, family, clan members in the other community, when they capture you on the road, you have to fix the custom, like bounce of getting up with traditional money, money stick and money ring. And then a bunch of getting out with ducks. So they release you and... They eat the duck? Time. They're going to eat the duck? Yeah, they're going to eat the duck, check the getting out. So this is the Kamani Beat village in the Sepik River. And we've been here for about a week now just with this tribe that just kidnapped us, just hanging out, making friends. And... Uh, yeah, they're the, actually the nicest people. They don't headhunt anymore. Before, there was a lot of cannibalism practice here, tribal war practice here, but the Yanmu people pretty much conquered the whole river here. So it's all Yanmu clans along the river. And uh, yeah, this is a way for them to keep their culture alive, to honor the, the old life and the warriors. And uh, So this behind me, this is the spirit house. That's where they captured and brought us into. And the spirit house is 
the life force of the village. This is where all the the decisions are made. Only men are allowed inside. This is where the rituals happen, the initiations happen, and anything that has to do with the community, it happens in here. No women allowed in, no children allowed in, only men. And now, this is the first time we've been inside when they captured us, and we're now going in to have a more formal visit. And maybe they'll explain more about this capturing tradition. One ball and now. Each village has their own spirit house. And look at that one. This is the bigger one. And in the dry season, they hang out down here. But now it's the rainy season, so everything's flooded. So now we go up here. Look, everything's decorated, even the stairs. And everything in here has symbolic meaning. And the stories of their tribe's origin. Hello, sir. <laughs> Thank you for kidnapping me. We're lucky, right? Who was it? Who was it? You kidnapped me? Yep. Good job. Thank you. This, this frame I weave out of the Goomba back. We have a lot of Goomba back along the bank of the city river. So everywhere Goomba back grow wild. So we do get the uh, young ones, put it in the water, get a fiber. So women roll strings, make balloon bags, weaving with those uh, local strings. And cassowary feathers, as you see cassowary today, yeah. down at the school area. Common curry shell, we don't have here, we thread from the coast. Nowadays we buy in the market. And couscous pay, three kangaroo. So mostly the warriors wear this with the black pants. What do you have to do to become a warrior? What makes you a warrior? Is there oh, some initiation? In the in the village, in, yeah, initiation, and also in the village, the chief knows that who is that, and but uh, according to the clan. Yeah. So each clan have a chief, and then there's a one chief overall the other clans, and so he knows who is tough enough, and that's his part to play. So, here in the village you have some artifacts that are 500 years old, maybe even more, right? Uh, in the, remember on the Rani side? You we, have, we have only the drum. It's and, downstairs. And drum. how old is that? Uh, it is like more than 500 years. So, how old is the Yadmul tribe? Uh, that I cannot know mm. how old I is. But more than 500? More than 500. So these traditions have been maintained from grandparents, grandparents, grand, grandparents. Grand, 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 grandparents, and uh, this village is like uh, 12 generations. 12 generations? Yeah. Just here? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy to think that like this culture has been around for a thousand years, and you said like the Christians come in and one generation everything changes. Changes. Here are some of the masks that they use for their traditional dances. When you wear these masks during the dances, what reason do you wear the mask? When they dance with these masks? Mask? Yeah, when you wear it, then you, the mask will dance with a... With a uh, Is it meant to, what's it meant to represent? Spirits? Spirits, yes. Dancing spirit. Dancing spirit. Nice. It's really cool. Scary. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's the drum they were playing, also a crocodile. Damn, so cool. Here, how do people get married? Is it love marriage or arranged marriage? 
love marriage. Love marriage. So you fall in love, not families. But before? Before they do exchange married. If one, uh, if you marry to a certain clan, if and then the exchange, you give up woman, then the next time they get a woman from your clan. Just an exchange. Like a change, yeah. yeah. But Western culture came and then people know how to fall in love. So is that better? Yeah. Yeah. So Pete is a tattoo artist from Los Angeles. You can follow him on Instagram, Pete's on Earth. And he's going to do a tattoo of a crocodile for one of the warriors here in the Yatmul Crocodile Tribe. Here in the village, they have this old tradition where they would go capture the warriors from the other tribes and demand bribes from that tribe. And now as a way to, as a way to maintain that sort of tradition, they do it now just with guests you know, a way to honor their ancestors and to honor their tradition. And they're getting ready to kidnap us right now as just like a ceremonial welcome to the village. And look at them, look at them, they're all, they're all dressed up in their traditional outfits. But I'm not supposed to see them yet. So I'll walk over here and uh, You'll, you'll see the first, you'll see them kidnapping us before you see this part. Don't worry. I got a secret weapon. Thank <laughs> you. 